something that was designed to show off status. It wasn't a goal. It was part of the training. You believe the training initiative of the martial arts did it in secret because they were learning how to defend themselves against soldiers and military taking their land, taking their property. So they would train basically in secret and they'd wear like these white robes of plain. They wanted everyone to be the same. And the belt, the first belt, was just a ripped off piece of cloth, a sash that just held a uniform from opening up. And then one day, after a long time of training, they started to compare it. started to see who was better. They were trying to figure out who was the best amongst them. And they looked around the room and they watched and they realized that the better a person was, the dirtier their belt was. The uniforms got torn eventually, got thrown away, but the belt always stayed the same. And the best students didn't have a white belt that was brand new and nice and clean and neat. The best ones were darker in color, dingy, stained, because of all the hours of training. And eventually they looked around the room and they found one person whose belt had turned completely black from all the hours of training, all the intensity, all the blood, sweat, and tears. And they realized that was indeed the best student amongst them. So the way you get good is exactly the same way that the first black girl did, is by training, by doing exactly what Yoshi McGinley has done since she started training, doing what you guys do every week. And you can take it as far, as far as you like. Everyone starts the same. All the black belt is, is a white belt that never gave up and never quit. It's very simple. Simply put, it's all it is. I'll let you guys finish the last couple stretches.